castle right outside of Regensburg that had been used by the Waffen SS had very rapidly bundled everything together, hidden it away and absconded before we got there. And the only person left up there was a woman who was a caretaker who wouldn't tell you anything whatsoever. She was about as close mouth as you can be. We tried to find out, we tried to find out. We couldn't. One day, I'm sitting in my office, and a man comes in, obviously a military, with a huge, beautiful German shepherd named Ross. And he goes in, and he salutes, and he says, I am here, I am Maximilian, and I am here to make a deal with you. I am the former Gestapo chief of Regensburg and I want to make a deal. I know that you're looking for me, I'm here to make a deal. I said, what do you mean make a deal? He said, this is my deal. You put me up in luxury, give me whatever I want, and I will give you one mandatory arrestee every day. I know where they all are, I know who they are, I can do that, you can't. Every day you will get one person. Well, this is the kind of deal that you can't say no to. So Maximilian was put up in luxury. And every day he came and says he would find so-and-so and so-and-so in this address. And we, we had a rest record bond on. We were stars. Well, more, we always have more. So we said, Max, we want to find out where the records of the Waffen SS, where they are, what happened to them. He said, I can't, that I don't, I cannot possibly do that. I said, okay, Max, you have 24 hours. From that, after that, our deal is off. He said, 24 hours? He said, yeah. That was it. Well, at 24 hours, he came with a girl, early 20s, petrified. And I asked, you, as a typist and a, and a, and a fire filing thing, you, you must have seen a lot of interesting stuff. And he said, yes, and, and it was all filed away. And I said, well, was any of it kept? Uh, I don't know anything. I don't know, you know. But I finally got her to say, that she knew where one steel safe was buried. And she showed us on the map exactly where that was. Wow, now we got it. And then we asked her, what's in it? She said, well, silk stockings, coffee, brocade from France, the loot that the camp commandant had brought back from his trips to Paris meant nothing to us whatsoever. Well, all is not lost. And I'm looking at Rolf, and I'm looking at Max, and this is what I did. I spent the time preparing, and the next morning I got together a detachment of army engineers, a group of prisoners, German prisoners, guarded by MPs, Maximilian and Rolf, and got Mrs. Polka out. And we said, Mrs. Polka, this is your last chance. You tell us now where you know things are buried here. 
It's your last chance. We know you know, and if you do not tell us, you will have to pay the consequences. You see that dog? His name is Ralph. He is Gestapo trained. He can nose out anything buried if it has been touched by human hand. It doesn't make any difference how deep he can find it. And the woman looks at the dog. She knows it's impossible. And she says, okay, let me show you this. I said, yes, okay, fine. We will do that. So, the next thing is, we get Ross on the leash, and we start towards a little forest. There's a large grassy area, and then a little forest. And we go out to the grassy area, and I tell to Max, I said, okay, tell Rolf to zoom. Seek, seek, search. And here is this whole column and a dog starts sniffing, sniffing, going around, going around. All of a sudden he gets, oh, oh, he finds something and he goes all around, right into the, towards the forest. Everybody following him, including the woman. And he gets into a little area and he starts scratching. And I said, stop him. So Max stopped him and I said to Mrs. Porter, is there anything buried here? And she's looking at it. Why is it she? She just couldn't talk. I said, all right, dig it up. So she said, no, no, wait, wait. I said, what is, well, there, there is something buried here. I said, what? Well, there's a, a steel safe. I said, fine. Okay, now you know that Ralph can find these things. And I know you know where the rest of them are. Now you tell us where. And she did. 13 other places where the actual Waffen SS documents had been spirited away. And we got it all up and got it all. And it, it was part of the case at Nuremberg. They had all the records from the Waffen SS. What Mrs. Poipert did not know is that although Ralph had put on an Academy Award performance, he had no idea there was anything buried except the night before I had taken a big Bavarian smelly sausage. And on a string I had carried it all through this grassy knoll into where I knew there was something buried, namely the safe with the loot in it that the young girl had told us about, and I buried the sausage on top of that. That's what Ralph was looking for. When everything was said and done, we went to do that, and the look at Mrs. Porker's face when she saw the sausage and knew she had been had was worth the admission.